Okay, um, we've learned our stance and how to stand on our skateboard and how to fall in a controlled way. This lesson we're going to finally learn how to push along. Um, first, make a conscious choice of what terrain to learn on. Concrete skate parks and wood like this uh, is good for the experienced rider, but not so good for a newbie. Uh, this is because the board is so responsive to every little movement you make on a surface like this, especially with harder wheels. You might, you might want to find a surface that's a little rougher because you'll find the board won't move around quite so much under your feet. Hopefully you've drilled your four steps from our first lesson. To recap, from push position, we put our back foot on the bolts into the T-stance, then we turn our front foot into riding position. To get off or push again, we reverse steps one and two by turning our front foot to point ahead into the T-stance, then we take off our back foot. If you're comfortable with the previous steps we've learned, pushing along will be very easy as there's nothing new to learn. We're going to push along and then use our foot to stop. When you push off, look down at your feet. Check they're in the right position as per our previous lesson. Foot positioning is vital. Feet on the bolts. This means we have a wide stance, which means more stability and safer. Safety first. Remember, if you're laid up in bed, you can't skate. Your toes and heels should be hanging over the edge an equal distance when in riding position. There is a very good reason why our feet are in this position. As you balance, you will use your toes and heels to correct your center of gravity. Initially, that's just to stay upright, and then eventually we'll use it to steer. We'll come onto this in the next lesson on carving. If you're lacking enough confidence to put the back foot on, first go back to practicing how to stand on your board on the spot. Then move on to pushing along without putting the back foot on the board. Just coast along. When you've practiced this a ton, you will feel comfortable putting the back foot on. Don't forget to ensure you are low when riding, bending with your knees, not your back, and arms out. If you feel like something is going wrong, be ready to go to ground. If you're a learner, you should have wrist guards, which should take most of the impact. If you learn to fall, you'll progress much more quickly because you can take more risks and learn from mistakes quickly. Okay, once you have pushing and stopping on lock, you can move on to making a second push rather than stopping. Lastly, relax. You will find you are tense and nervous. This is completely natural. You're worried about falling, but this tension is inhibiting your performance and your ability to enjoy yourself. Remember, making mistakes is your passport to progressing. Learn to fall, fall to learn. Just remember to stay close to the floor and your hands are the first contact with the floor. If you can fall with confidence, you'll be able to relax more when you're riding. That's it for this lesson. Up next is carving.